I did it for the money. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Just uh, stayed up, grinding, making PowerPoints and aligning logos till 2 a.m. because the money, the money was great. Um, I actually think it's very dumb when people make the hourly argument for banking. They're like, oh, the hourly is lower than McDonald's. McDonald's doesn't allow you to work 80 hours a week. Um, so I actually want to defend banking in this sense. Um, McDonald's doesn't allow you to make 180K out of college. Um, it just doesn't allow you to work those hours. You can make the hourly argument, but um, banking, I, I would still argue, is the most you can make without a technical skill out of college. Um, but the reason why I stayed up and worked 100 hours a week, because the money, the money got me going and the money gets all the bankers going. Um, and that's why they work so hard to take a less cynical approach. I would say that pre COVID, um, camaraderie was a huge thing that allowed you to feel empowered to do these things and working alongside your other analysts and associates in the, in the, uh, bullpen, um, that really got you going and gave you the energy and the, um, enthusiasm to work together because everyone was feeling that way. But since COVID started, everyone worked from home, what are you gonna do? Turn Zoom on and work together, cranking all night with silent white noise. You wanted to, you know, unbutton your white shirt and uh, work alongside your guys and say, "Yo, like I'm cranking on this. What are you cranking on?" All of that gone with COVID. Again, I, I think I've been saying this before. If COVID didn't happen, I probably would have stayed in banking longer, um, worked those hundred-hour weeks longer. But someone uh, just had to get that virus, so. It is what it is. What does help you stay up and work longer is actually this video sponsorship, thanks to one of my YouTube fans slash friends, with Acta, A-C-T-A, matcha, um, energy tea. Tastes great, apparently. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this and drink it. I actually recorded this before. I'm recording this, but I'm going to pretend like I didn't and... Here is my video of me making it and drinking it. Yeah, and that tasted so freaking good. You should go check it out. Um, Joke aside, I actually thought it was really good. Um, I don't drink caffeine typically, so it's probably going to be a long night for me, but love that. Uh, try Acta Matcha. I hope I'm pronouncing right, Acta Acta. But back to the point, I do think that working 100 hours a week, especially when you're young, um, you get to have a lot of experience when you're young, all in this concentrated time, which is why a lot of these analyst gigs are so high intensity. I think it gave me the grind power and the mentality and motivation to work harder in my other works like the startup work. But aside from that, It was for the money. Um, Everyone does it for the money. I don't know how else to put it. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, If you guys are in an analyst gig, best of luck. I hope you guys have in office because you can't do this work from home. It's going to blow for two years. And I will see you guys next time. Let's go.